నిత్యానందం పరమసుఖదం కేవలం జ్ఞానమూర్తి ద్వంద్వాతీతం గగన సదృశం తత్వమస్యాదిలక్ష్యం ఏకం నిత్యం విమలమచలం సర్వధీ సాక్షిభూతం భావాతీతం త్రిగుణరహితం సద్గురుం తం నమామి Nityanandam everyone, this is Anupama Deshpande and I'm here to share today about one of the most exciting dimensions on which I have been privileged to be associated with His Divine Holiness Paramahamsa Shri Nityananda and His mission. Very early on, I caught on to the fact that the smartest thing I could do is really be involved in with Swamiji's mission involved in this beautiful unfolding of the Leela that is happening when Paramashiva himself has landed on planet Earth and uh, causing this huge breakthrough happening in humanity. And so at that time, uh, my husband and I, my children, we made the decision that on all dimensions, on all fronts we could, we want to be part of this blessing. We want to be part of this mission. And since then, we've been privileged to be part of the Sangha, we've been privileged to attend his program as participants, receive his Dikshas, we've been privileged to contribute in Seva, in time, talent and treasure. One of the most beautiful ways in which we've been associated is as a Yajaman of the Sarvagnya Pita. Sarvagnya Pita is um, the very happening, what the, the future that Swamiji is unfolding um, on this planet Earth right now, the Sarva Jnanatva, where all the dimensions of life, the dimensions in humanity are based on that cosmic truth, that cosmic understanding, whether it is education, whether it is the lifestyle you live, whether it is the temples you go to, everything is really geared towards taking you to that Sarvagnyan to that ultimate realization that you and Parmashiva are one. And even as you go on that beautiful journey to that realization, you are in that space of oneness with Parmashiva, the experience that only an avatar can give you. Not any enlightened master, not any teacher, but through that diksha, that initiation, you live that reality that you want to create now. So in this beautiful journey, Sarvagnya Pita, we have an opportunity to contribute to the making of this new civilization that will be created. And um, the various dimensions are, I told you, like whether it's education, the current day education, I think every parent will agree and every person that's tracking the news in any way will agree that it is a disaster in the making. Our children face so much pressure. Every time the results come out for the 10th and 12th or any big examination, you hear of suicides happening. And the real knowledge is lost in the quest for some sort of artificial ranks or wanting to get a job that's really not going to satisfy you in the long term. So somehow we have gotten you know, to be with blinders and in trying to look at the tree, we've lost view of the forest. And of course, if you look at it, this very education system was put in place by the British and the British ruled India for what? They wanted better slaves, right? They wanted better babus who will say yes to them and they could just command and make things happen. So the very education system has its roots in the creation of better babus, better yes men to the British. So. If you look at the very history that we are taught or if you look at the science or everything, the context itself is wrong and for this kind of an education, now our children, our teenagers, our youth are killing themselves. That is just one very uh, powerful dimension of what the Sarvagnya Pita is changing. Sarvagnya Pita, His Divine Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda, is bringing back the ancient education system. And as Swamiji says, it's not even education, it's a knowledge transmission system. Anyone who's a parent knows, your child is not going to do what you tell them, they're going to do what you do. And so when an enlightened master, when an avatar 
transmits his very um, space, transmits his body language, transmits his learning, his manifestations into his students. That is what the Hindu knowledge system is about. That is what Gurukul is about. So reviving the education system in a big way and waking us up to the realization that it's not just about science, math, chemistry, physics, accounts that you need to study about. It's the manifestation of a powerful life, living with shaktis, with superpowers. That is our prerogative. That is encoded in our very DNA. Again, like I said, that's one dimension that Swamiji is very powerfully awakening. And if you ever visit here the Bengaluru Adhinam Nityananda Peetam, or even talk to various children, thousands and thousands of children that have been, have had the, you know, the real blessing to be initiated by Swamiji into these superpowers, you will realize it yourself. Whether it is being able to scan your bodies, like they're an x-ray machine, right? Or being able to materialize sacred powders or sacred gemstones, or being able to remote view, um, close their eyes and through just their third eye, the Agna Chakra, be able to see what's in front, behind, everywhere around. These are the kinds of superpowers that we can understand on the human plane and the human dimension. But these are really, I would say, the tip of the tip of the iceberg because it is not these powers that are as important as the powerful cognitions, that understanding that you are the cosmos, that you have Sarva Jnana, anything that is out there is also here and that space of oneness will reveal itself to you. So these are the kinds of things that Swamiji, in just one dimension of the Sarva Pita that I feel passionate about is unfolding. He's bringing back various knowledge, um, lost knowledge really, like he's talking about the Vaimanika Shastra. Vaimanika Shastra is really using the energy of sound or other um, such subtle sciences that may be lost today, being able to fly objects. You know, we've all heard the story, right, of um, Ramayana, where Ravana, he sat on a Pushpaka Vimana, which is his flight, and he would just chant some mantras and it would start to fly. Or we've heard in Mahabharata of Sanjaya, the, the minister of the blind king Dhritarashtra, and he uh, was initiated by Bhagavan Sri Krishna into the power of remote viewing, because of which he was able to recount the war, the battle that was happening miles and miles away, I suppose I should say kilometers away, to the blind, blind kill, uh, king Dhritarashtra. So these are the powers we lived with. Um, Swamiji has also shared about how probably the first test tube babies are the children of Gandhari and that king Dhritarashtra, the 101 kids that were literally cured in mud pots and they were grown from the, um, you know, from the, I would say the Amsha, the part of um, Gandhari herself. So various such dimensions, such sciences that are just lost right now. And um, these are now being revived in such a big way. I'm touching on one dimension. Let me touch on another dimension, which is very, very exciting to me. And I'm, I kind of discovered it newly, only after I discovered Swamiji. And that is that of temples and of deities. Swamiji here is building the largest temple the largest golden temple for Paramashiva. And you know, these are not like the temples I used to go to when I was a child, where it was more because it was more social than anything else. Here, these deities that are consecrated, brought to life, Prana Pratishta done by His Divine Holiness, Avatar Himself, has happened in, uh, once after thousands and thousands of years. When He consecrates a deity, they interact with you, they respond to you, they bless you in very, very tangible ways. So not only creating this beautiful golden temple here in Biriti Bengaluru Adinam, but in thousands of centers across the world, but then living that temple-based lifestyle, whether it's the Uttamottama Seva in the morning, where first thing when you get up after your yoga during the Brahma Muhurta, you then go and you pay your respects to Paramashiva, you do your puja. 
and that is such a beautiful way to start the day isn't it really cherishing and um, you know allowing that space of oneness allowing that grace of parameshiva and of your guru to descend on you then the rest of the day the rest of your life all falls in place so this kind of a powerful lifestyle is so important in today's world i know now i um i spent a lot of my life in the united states and then in singapore and before i met swami ji life was about okay you get up in the morning you run to work and then you come back and it's like cooking for the kids in the evening and yes it was fun but it didn't feel like there was anything sacred about it it didn't feel like there was any connection to something beyond you or beyond your logic and um it it became very uh you know regular after a while now when you start living with the context that there is someone beyond you that you can commune with and you can really in very tangible ways interact with who's waiting to respond to you that lifestyle becomes such a power the food you eat becomes prasad you know the clothes you wear become such a beautiful blessing from him so your whole lifestyle um now fits around something greater than you something more powerful something more beautiful this is another dimension that the sarvagnya pitha that his divine holiness paramahamsa nityananda is reviving and establishing again various dimensions exist even as these temples are being built he is reviving in a powerful way all the different sacred arts whether it's the science of deity making or the science of alankaram and uh, and all these mind you is brought to us directly from the sources from the shastras themselves because swami ji is a big uh, proponent of going back to the original scriptures for everything so literally whether it is the yoga we do at 4 o'clock in the morning or how it is that the deity alankaram happens or how it is that the vibhuti we wear uh, you know uh, you know is put everything actually has a scriptural references right down to the verse and the name of the scripture and there's something very uh, I, it, it creates a lot of stability to know that what comes to you is from the ancient age old sources which have been re, uh, revealed to humanity by the cosmos itself which have been revealed to humanity by parameshiva himself the adi yogi parameshiva who taught us yoga or in the agamas he taught the science of cooking to devi it's all so beautiful when you understand that now the life you're living was what he revealed to humanity so that's another dimension i'm trying to give you an example of the kinds of things the the sheer scope of what it is swami ji is doing here and how for thousands of years to come really humanity is going to be receiving this blessing and living this blessing um whether it's sacred arts whether it's gurukuls which are two very important dimensions of sarvagnya pitha but there are very more such as being able to um um you know revive the science of healing the ancient science of healing um this very beautiful bidhi bengaluru campus that you see out here reviving that in various parts of the world in a big way the sad truth is and having grown up a hindu having grown up a brahmin uh who really didn't respect my religion or my tradition until really it was swami ji that awakened me to it i can say it's a very sad state of affairs that hinduism is no longer respected or prevalent or practiced in any sort of authentic way in india in today's world and it is swami ji that has made this so uh powerful for me he's given it so much legitimacy now when i wear kumkum i can explain to you why i wear it right when i wear the sari i can tell you why is it that i have um the sari going this way because of which that's light weight on my left shoulder balances my nadi so i'm able to breathe in a more uh, balanced way 
when i do aarati i can tell you that this is what helps put the left and right brains more in synchronicity so i can re- reveal the um receive the divine energy and the kundalini can go up through the sushumna nadi i'm just giving you examples of how swami ji despite being so grounded in the shastras is also so modern he's actually for the superpowers we're talking about put us under an mri scanner or under an eeg machine and you can clearly even in modern scientific terms see the changes that are happening start to maybe for the first time understand how an eeg machine understands what samadhi is many 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 exciting dimensions of sarvagni pitha and it is really my privilege our privilege to be associated with it to be a contributor to such a huge happening to such a great unfolding uh that is happening here that parmashiva himself has come down on earth and is leading so when you give to the master the only thing you can give him is your karma he doesn't need anything else from it and i can clearly see everything that i thought i have given has just been a bigger blessing that has landed back on me it has opened up a space in me to receive more and more so even sarvagnya pitha it was so interesting the minute we made the contribution suddenly all the money that was you know stuck maybe a loan that we'd given someone you know was returned so wherever it is um life is stuck for you that opens up when the grace of the master descends when you just it is nothing more than you saying yes i want to grow in this dimension so if you want to grow in the dimension of wealth if you want to receive lakshmi that huge energy current that comes flows through you and not only showers on you but showers on everyone around i would say sarvagnya pitha is what you need to sign up for right away and sign up uh for the revival of hinduism to bring legitimacy to all these different dimensions to save our kids who are now struggling with a kind of lifestyle that is out there um who are being taught in completely short-sighted ways anyone who understands this anyone who even gets a little bit of a perspective of this it is your duty to contribute in some way or the other little or big does not matter it is your duty to understand this because the very future of our kids the very future of humanity depends on this so if you have any questions you can reach out to me we'll add a uh, you know my email id and phone number in the sharing when we upload it on youtube so thank you very much for listening and um, look forward to hearing from you om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudashyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शांति 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 ही हरि ही ओम तत्सत् सर्वं सद्गुरुपाद अर्पणमस्तु ओम नित्यानंदम